Alright, so hello. So, see, so yeah, on top of this, being a very brief guide on rating Shogun, I also want to do a brief follow up on my last rating Shogun video where I said she was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> I have spent the last two months literally doing nothing besides finding artifacts on this account, including skipping basically every single weekly bosses and doing everything else. Um, and I kind of just skipped her at level 69 because I thought it was slightly funny. A lot of points which I pointed out in my last video were talking about her lack of energy gain for the whole team, especially since not many people actually use electrical characters, and her overall synergy with the team can be a bit wonky outside of the Zulu teams, causing unwanted overloads for pyro damage dealers, even though Raiden, Shinshu, and Shanling is a solo team. Though, as you might expect from the beginning of the video, my opinion of her does have changed a little bit since then. I do think now, after using her in the abyss over and over again at just level 69, I am really comfortable to say that her burst damage, although not overwhelming, is pretty damn solid, especially with Banner buff, and I like her as a new addition to my team. But yeah, let's get into Raiden, and this is my build. For artifacts though, you definitely want the Emblem of Fate set. This artifact set is all kind of based around her, which is good as about. For substats though, you want to look for energy recharge, attack, crit rate, and crit damage. Um, something to mention though about the crit rate and crit damage is that if you are using the weapon called Catch, and is that the passive or the elemental skill increased by crit rate by 9% or 12% or like, I think the highest it goes is 12% or something like that. The 9% here will not actually be put inside the stat system. But realistically though, I do have 80% crit rate, but it doesn't show. So if I just remove the weapon to maybe... So yeah, if I change this weapon, it's to show 71% crit rate. Even though the passive of the catch though does increase your crit rate by 9% in my cases. So yeah, just something to keep note of though, you might have more crit rate than you actually need. But yeah, I couldn't find a better one than this one. I do think I have some maybe more high crit damage ones around the places. Um, but I do value the extra attack percent, some extra energy recharge. And just because I'm using an energy recharge weapon as well, I do actually fancy some attack percent. Yeah, in the feathers though, this is my feather. Got some good rolls on there. 30% crit damage, 7.8% crit. Rolls. I got a few actually that's pretty similar to this one, but this is the best one I'm able to get. The time piece though, I'm using energy recharge and for the goblin, I'm using attack percent. Um, I personally need a lot of energy recharge on my team because I'm using Azula and I want to spam banners out. But if you're using on a team that doesn't require as much energy recharge, I can see attack percent on the stance and also electro percentage on the goblin as well can also work. But for me though, I have so much energy recharge and since Raiden directly changes energy recharge to electro damage, I am using energy recharge in attack so I don't need any electro damage. But if you find yourself not needing that much energy recharge though, you can also go with attack percent and also electro percent as well over here. And here's my timepiece. It's kind of the worst one I have, 10.5% energy crit rate, which is not bad by any means possible. But I do have one crit roll over here and I prefer the bat. And I prefer that to be attack percent or crit rate instead. But that's whatever I suppose. But yeah, depending on your weapons though, and depending how your artifact is though, everybody's gonna be a bit different. Here's my attack percent goblet. Um, it's really nice. I got this one pretty early on. And I'm so glad I kept it because I almost threw this one away because I was like, who the hell needs attack percent, right? <laughs> uh, Raiden. And yeah, and this is my crit rate hat. Um, plus 28.8% crit damage, the best one I was to get. The second best one is this one over here, Shangling has it, plus 20% crit rate, uh, plus 20% crit damage. So here are my two best ones I have. In terms of weapons though, let's talk about some of that. Everybody probably has the catch. It's a pretty good weapon, though if you do have a sky with spine though, that's going to do you slightly better. The catch this time around does actually outperform the deathmatch. So that's pretty neat I suppose, so she has one of the best weapons in the game, just ready for her, mm. nice, that's pretty neat I suppose. Mars Constellation 1, honestly though, I don't ever see this one ever taking effect, but yeah, um, yeah, her C1's kind of overrated and I kind of wish it's part of the kit instead, but it is what it is I suppose, but it doesn't really affect anything much, personally speaking. But yeah, for talents though, you just kind of want to focus on her E and also Q. Her elemental burst is the most important one, so I recommend just jamming the thing out. So given that, given that thing to level 10, level 8, highest possible. I'm actually pretty stoked that I'm able to level her up now to level 70 and plus, so I can upgrade her talents. So, yeah. And yeah, because I haven't done much talents recently, and just been doing artifact runs, I have a bunch of freaking Mora. Time for the sacred moment, boys. Just been keeping her level 69. Been avoiding her. Been avoiding to use Raiden in battle in the uh, normal world just because I'm too afraid of getting her to level 70. So I've just been avoiding her and been not using her inside my team and only been using her inside the bits. So yeah, level 70 now. Time for ascension. Oh, feels so nice. Thanks for the wish. Oh, thanks, Meowyo. 
I have waited literal months for this. And I should be getting her to level 90 tomorrow. Talents. Give it to me. Yeah, I got actually really lucky with these things. I only done this Nora's fights about three times on this account, so pretty lucky I got all the drops I need. 71 to 140, um you didn't get I haven't had too much luck with crit damage, so we can potentially get this a bit higher. I think I bit too much crit rate, but it's pretty much fine for now. Engine recharge for me I like going close to 300 as possible. Just because everybody in the team just needs it. Um I think this is a DPS bonnet actually. Yeah, this is more of DPS Burnett myself, like half DPS Burnett, so it needs a lot more energy recharge. So yeah, that's my level 69 Raiden, some information, some general guides, I suppose, some quick guides, tips. Yeah, hope everybody enjoyed it, and see you guys next time. Bye.